So this here used to be one of my favorite tools and I would use it all the time. I would pull it out of my toolbox and I would use it to set off tools. I would use it to check my tools and there's a whole bunch of uses for it. And there's also a reason I don't use it anymore. So stick around. This is a loop, which is just a magnifying glass. And there was a time when I used this all day, every day, because I worked at an engraving house. And so we had lots of small little engraving cutters that needed to be inspected to see if they were broken or not. And we also used loops to touch off those tiny little tools. So take a look at this. Inside the spindle right now, I've got a, a cutter and it's really tiny and really pointy. The tip of it's only a few thousandths of an inch in diameter, almost nothing. And so if you tried to touch off using a shim or a piece of paper or even a standard you know, tool setter, it's really easy to break those type of tools. So using a loop, we can touch off a tool without it ever touching anything. And this is how. We'll have a clean surface. I might give it a swipe of oil to make it nice and shiny. And then I'm gonna jog my tool down above the part. We're gonna jog on a small increment, maybe 0.001. And then we're gonna lower our jog increment to 0.0001 while looking through the loop the whole time. We're gonna go down slower, 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 and then that's it. The tool is gonna meet its reflection and we stop. We go to the control, we set our tool length offset, then we jog up and out of the way and we are done. So uh, a pretty nifty way to use a loop. Uh, that's just one method. And in that method, we brought the, the magnifier to the part. We brought the loop to the part because I can't bring my eyeball into the machine. So you can use these things in a couple different ways. Number one, I can hold the thing at, at arm's reach against, let's say this insert, and I can look through it. And by pulling the loop closer and further away, I'm changing the magnification and also the focus, and I can get things so I can see it just perfectly. A second way would be using it more like a jeweler would, uh, like a jeweler's loop. And that's where you hold the loop really close to your face, maybe one inch away from your eye, and you bring the part that you're looking at, let's say the diamond, right up against the loop. And you can bring it in and out by moving the part to change the magnification and the focus. In fact, some loops have bell mouths on them for just this purpose, where you can actually hold the loop with a squinty eye, like a pirate, <laughs> and then you can bring the insert up against your face until it's in focus, inspect it, and look at it that way. And that's a really effective way also. So I'm just saying there's no right or wrong way to use a loop. Uh, one way or the other, far, close, just use it until it's clear and it's at the right magnification for you and you won't have any problems. I love these. And I also hardly ever use them anymore. <laughs> and there's a reason for this. Six months ago, I, I got a new phone. Uh, this isn't the phone, it was one of these. But it took terrible pictures up close and I was, I was needing to take some up close pictures of inserts. So I went online and what I found there was a macro lens. This guy just clips right onto the camera here. What a macro lens does, it allows you to get really, really close to your subject and still hold your focus. And if I can bring my camera really close to that insert, then I don't have to use the optical zoom on the camera. And so it gives me a really nice, clean picture. And it works fantastic. I use this, I use it for a couple of videos for filming some up close stuff. And it was awesome, really neat. And I was so excited about this macro lens that I went and told everyone I know. Uh, one person in particular was Pat Cahill over in service. Like, look at this, this is incredible. You can get so close, I can see the inserts. And he's like, that is really cool, Mark. And uh, I assume you've seen the magnifier on the phone that you're holding, right? I'm like, oh yeah, yeah, sure, I've seen that. Never seen it. And then I went and I Googled it. <laughs> and I've been using it nonstop since. Thank you, Pat. So this is how this works. And this is why I hardly ever use a loop anymore. So there's a magnifier app on your phone, but to make it work, I've got to go over here to settings and we're just going to go down to accessibility and we're going to find where it says magnifier and turn that on and we're all set. To give the magnifier a shortcut, all we've got to do is go down to accessibility 
and then accessibility shortcut and select our magnifier. And with that, I'm just going to press the home button three times and that's it. It has brought up the magnification app. I can then hold it up against my part that I want to measure and zoom in. And just take a look at these pictures. So this is what I'm getting right now just with the app, zooming in and zooming out using the app on this insert. And you can see everything. You can see the edges, the deformations, the burn marks, and the chips. And on these tiny parts, we'll get the same thing. You can use the instant magnifier to zoom all the way in and zoom out. And it is an incredible thing to have. So loops are fantastic. I have fallen in love with the magnifier app on my iPhone. Uh, just really cool. Now, if you needed to get really zoomed in for some reason, really, really, really zoomed in, you should probably go take your tool, your part over to an optical comparator or even a tool presetter. And lots of these have surface illumination built right in. And I'll mention this and we'll, we'll link to it. Um, John Saunders over at NYC CNC, he had an episode at one point that showed a desktop USB camera, which was amazing. Uh, you can't walk it around as easily as some other things, but that was a fantastic device for the price as well. So check out the description, check out the links, and uh, you can learn more about that. Well, I hope you, you got something out of this today. Uh, I know we had fun making this video. Uh, come back next time and we'll go through another drawer.